Hi everyone, I'm Fatima. My name is Robin. And in this video, we are going to speak about how to find a good doctor or how to search a good doctor for a surgery in general, either plastic surgery or any other type of surgery abroad and in Turkey because we have experience in Turkey. So the idea came from uh, this group on Facebook uh, where there was a post asking about how to find a good doctor and I made a comment uh, explaining some small points. Then I had a lot of messages on my inbox asking me about how to find a good doctor. So instead, to, instead of answering every person alone, we decided to do this video where we answer all the questions. But before that, let me uh, introduce what we do. So we have uh, a platform called uh, Medical Journey, which is an online platform for medical consultancies. Um, basically what we are doing, we are trying to find for everyone who's coming from abroad to Turkey and in the future maybe any other country, but for now Turkey, we are trying to find uh, the perfect doctor or hospital. Uh, we are making we want to make sure that they get the treatment and the whole services as they expected for example like a, a treatment abroad is one but there are more things to 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 do than a treatment for example like uh, arrival to the airport like where do you have to go to because most of the uh, the clinics hospitals or doctors or whatever they are in Istanbul well Istanbul is huge you don't know how to find a way it's crowded um, so we are making sure that uh, the doctor giving like uh, a total package. Mm -hmm. It's not like uh, you're going to surgery. Uh, two minutes in front of the surgery, you will see the doctor, and uh, surgery is done. You wake up and you see the doctor once, and after that you get out of the hospital, and that's it. We got the idea for uh, starting this online platform from our own experience because now we are based in Netherlands but before that we were uh, living for a couple of years in Turkey. When we were living in Turkey we worked with different doctors, different clinics and we, uh, we, we ourselves had uh, uh, surgeries done. So I had my nose done, I had liposuction, Robin had uh, his hair done. Yeah. So not only that we worked with doctors and clinics, but we also went under the knife ourselves. Now, during our experience in Turkey, we worked inside the hospitals and inside the clinics. And we have seen a lot of things which made us think like we need to do something. A lot of things which are happening people don't know about because when you are going from country to country where you don't know the language you don't know what's in the kitchen as we say a lot of things can happen for example uh, there, there was there was this lady uh, who had a, a breast implant implanted in her uh, buttocks this was one of the the, the, the the weird experiences we have seen we also uh, we we have also seen cases where the doctor who's supposed to do the surgery goes out of the surgery room and someone else finishes the surgery, another doctor finishes the surgery for him. So what happens that you, is that you pay for a doctor, but you end up being uh, uh, um, operated by another doctor. In other cases, um, a lot, I, 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 th th there was a case where a, a patient had to wait uh, five hours for the doctor, then the five doctor... Hours, sometimes even like one or two days, you know, they can just... Uh, for example, you're going to the surgery, you think you have a surgery that day and, and uh, one hour or two hours in front, you hear like, okay, uh, we have to do the surgery tomorrow or maybe even the day after that. And, and if this, this kind of things happens, you know, if, generally if, if, in, in, in like big hospitals. Yeah, and if this happens to you, so you already, it's, it's not your country, you don't know the language, you are going there to go under the knife and if this happens three or four times before the surgery, then you start feeling uncomfortable about the whole surgery, which can affect you later on, because psychologically it also affects you uh, physically. So th these are just some examples that comes to our mind right now, but th th we, we have seen a lot. And it's from there that we had the idea that once we are out of Turkey, we want to create a platform where we can help people to find uh, good doctors because when when you are out of when you are not in Turkey where we, we don't know what's going on 
and you contact a clinic or a doctor, doesn't matter who, so you are willing to have surgery, let's say rhinoplasty. So you go on Google, you write rhinoplasty in Turkey and you start searching, you find different doctors, you contact them. Once you contact them, of course, you are not going to speak with the doctor. No doctor has the time to speak to 100 or 50 people per day. So you directly get transferred to a salesperson. And as I just said, sales. So those people are trained to sell. And unfortunately, I know it's like it's a medical field where uh, the, 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 when, we, when we are speaking about medical, we are speaking about a noblest, about a noble job where human's health needs to be the priority. But unfortunately, right now, since this field is making a lot of money, the, yeah, now, now it's business. So every doctor is trying, not everyone, of course, not everyone, but most of the doctors are trying to make as much money as they can. So uh, uh, the, 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 the priority is how to sell more surgeries. So going back to the, 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 the first uh, point, you get transferred to a salesperson who is trained to sell. They will answer your questions by giving you the perfect answers you are expecting. Of course, when you're gonna ask them a question, or let's say, as we call it, an objection, they already have in their minds a scenario or an answer which is already prepared to answer your objection and convince you to come have surgery with that doctor and not with another doctor. So this is something you have to be aware of. When you are searching for the information, don't count 100% on the information you get from the salespeople. Yes. Now, there are other points that we would like to explain to you, and I'm gonna let Robin explain some points. Uh, uh, the most important, for example, which you already know, is uh, to look a lot at internet. Internet gives a lot of information, but there are certain kind of websites where you can see uh, the doctor's reputation, the doctor's work, the doctor's photograph uh, which uh, not can be stolen by let's say other doctors because this is a special point on the internet like they use each other's doctors and not even like uh, doctors photos. from Turkey's uh, they, they use it uh, sorry yes okay. the photos and not only from Turkey but they also for example use photos from doctors from the USA or Mexico or South America doesn't matter they just take it change it a little bit uh, change the name and bam we have a good before and after photo this is one thing. And there are certain websites, for example, like Real Self, where you can see real reviews which cannot be deleted, yeah. also like bad reviews. They cannot be deleted. And you can see, for example, in this Real Self page, what kind of membership the doctor is in, uh, which kind of certificates they have. Because, for example, in Turkey, there are certain doctors that are just on the Turkish board, but that the good doctors, they are on the European board as well. And this is, for example, what you can see. And you can see explain. the most important. Uh, the most important, in my uh, opinion, is that every doctor has a certain kind of speciality or a certain specific surgery which they prefer. You will see from the most doctors that they offer all surgeries. They do all surgeries, all body surgeries. Uh, head surgeries, nose surgeries, ear surgeries, everything. They can do everything. But every doctor has a certain uh, speciality. For example, one doctor likes BBL more and generally they like to do liposuction better. But you have other doctors who are better in nose and generally they are better in ears or neck lifts, face lifts, etc. as well. Generally you have these kind of combinations and this is how you can see a certain can doctor. I just Take, uh, I, I just want to go a little bit in, in uh, and explain why the, why the real self. Uh, so for, for people who don't know, you can uh, delete uh, bad comments from Google, you can delete bad, bad comments yes. from uh, Facebook, you can delete them as well from uh, from uh, sorry from Google, Instagram and Facebook. But so that's what happens. Counts. A lot of doctors or, or clinics they have people to just watch first to create fake comments and to just delete every bad comment. Now, this is something you cannot do on real self. And I, I feel like only doctors who have uh, confidence in their work can go on real self. Because once you are there, you cannot delete any yes. comments. And the most important on real self is, for example, if you have four or five bad comments 
as a doctor, you cannot delete your account and start it all over again. Yeah. For example, on Facebook, Instagram, whatsoever. Exactly. And some doctors are doing this. They go by doctor, blah, blah, blah and uh, some things go south. Bam, they start uh, another They start day. over, yes. A lot of clinics do this as well. Another thing uh, when talking about, uh, about uh, real self is that, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say. It's, it's normal to find some bad reviews. Now, it's abnormal to not find any bad reviews at all, but if the bad reviews are uh, concerning, for example, uh, how things were arranged, that's fine. If the bad example is about doctor not showing up to check on you after two hours or three hours, that's fine. As long as it's about this kind of things, not about the surgery itself or about the revision. Yeah. And just giving an example, I don't know if you know Botched Program. That's a very famous program in the US. And th there are two doctors in it. The two doctors also have uh, have uh, accounts on the real self. And they also have some bad comments. So it's very normal to have some bad comments, but not a lot. But, but a bad comment. What is a bad comment? Because, for, for example, like a bad comment... Sometimes it's just an opinion because some people they're going to plastic surgery doesn't matter that if it's for nose, if it's for neck, if it's for liposuction, BBL, and they have the, the, the expectations, they are just not reachable. They are not reachable. For example, mm -hmm. if you think you're very slim and tiny and you have just a little bit fat, don't expect like a, a big uh, South American Kim Kardashian. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 this will not happen. Yes. Yeah, so so the real self is a re very good tool. And there are other websites. Uh, which you can find and memberships and certifications and everything talking me, about the memberships um, just once sorry one moment talking about memberships you have to understand something now why we say that it's important to have a membership or to be approved by a different organization it's because it takes times and it, uh, it takes time years. and you do exams years. For, yeah it, takes it, takes, years. it can take sometimes my years Euro european board i think it takes five years or something yeah and and it and, and exams <laughs> and like it's 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 a lot of things when we say that a doctor is a approved by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons or by the European uh, Society of Plastic Surgeons, yeah. that, 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 that's a plus. Yeah. So if, if a doctor has no membership, uh, not approved but, by but any still, society, like, then... Still, it, 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 it's a sign, but it's not something which is certain. There are good doctors in Turkey, maybe they're a little bit younger or they have time, you need some certain specialties. They need maybe more time to have it, but you yeah. can see it. Uh, another thing which you can see uh, when the doctors are good or not is are they, do they have their own clinic uh, in certain kind of uh, hospitals for example if they are doing a, inside of a hospital and outskirts of the city and it's not known hospital generally the price is lower because you know these doctors they are renting the surgery room they are basically like entrepreneurs they are working for themselves they are uh, renting the surgery room for a couple of hours. They are renting uh, a, a certain uh, a, a restroom or a, a, yeah. a room where you can rest, uh, where you can sleep for one or two nights and where nurses take care of you. They are renting this. They are paying mm. a certain fee to the hospital. And uh, for example, if you have your own clinic or when the doctors have their own clinic, of course, they don't have this fee. but. The, that's all you can see. Uh, and it, it also it creates this trust. Like if something happens to you, you know where to find the doctor. Not like if he's just renting once yeah, the surgery. Yeah, they can be, they yeah, can, they can can be on the European side, Asian side, and yeah. it can be like 50 kilometers wide. Yeah. Another thing which you can see, and maybe this is not directly uh, the biggest point, but the assistants or the salesperson. If this person, a woman, female, doesn't matter, speaks good English. Generally, it's a better doctor because they get paid more. Yeah. If it's, for example, like a, a, a Turkish woman or man, doesn't matter. It, it doesn't have to be specifically Turkish, but and their English is not so good, or you can feel like the English is not like uh, uh, they can explain everything very well. Then generally, it's it's, it's uh, a bad sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, they get paid less. Uh, yeah. it's that simple. And in English, it's it's. It's not so obvious, really, obviously, but uh, there are certain kind of, uh, of, of languages in certain kind of, of, of hospitals. For example, like uh, the German market. German market is a huge. Uh, but there are certain doctors, they don't even have a German translator. So that basically means that they are not focusing on it or whatsoever or they don't. 
uh, they don't have the capacity or whatsoever, or, yeah. or they don't have to find a, they didn't find a good assistance, etc. Adding an information to what Robin is saying right now, make sure that you get the documents you're gonna sign before the surgery sent to you before you travel to that country, whatever the country is. Mm -hmm. Now talking about Turkey, ask them what are the documents you will have to sign and they have to be in a language you understand otherwise let's say english so you need it has to, to be in yeah english. it has to be in english sometimes you don't offer the papers in english because you sign on things you don't know for example it has to be in english yeah it has to be in english because sometimes you sign on the fact that if something happens to you you cannot sue the hospital or you cannot sue the doctor so make sure that you receive all those documents before you go a trustworthy respectful clinic will give you the, the documents but if a doctor or if, if the salesperson refuses to send you these documents then that's also a red flag yeah, yeah. Uh, well basically those are the most important point. yeah one, one more thing you can see is maybe like the services if they just do the aftercare. surgery aftercare services uh, and price price of course uh, like, uh, let's be honest if you can do uh, a nose job for 1800 euro including seven nights hotel because you have to stay there at least seven eight days yeah. because after the seven days they can take the cast off it, yeah. it, it they, the minimum is five days but generally it's seven days uh, yeah then basically like a, a hotel is like 50 60 euro per night then basically you just pay the, the doctor uh, 1300 euro imagine he has to rent a surgery room okay nose surgery is maybe one and a half hour maybe two hours so basically, they the doctor earns five hundred euro maybe from it, and for them it's it's not a lot. If you have a good doctor, yeah, he will ask one thousand more. A, a good doctor, let's, let's say a good doctor in a good clinic will ask for three thousand euros generally for 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 rhinoplasty. If a doctor is asking for less, then that's a red flag because there are a lot of costs to pay. Not a red flag, but it's 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 it, it, it's it's not uh, the best point. Let's say a red flag. <laughs> Red flag, okay. Orange flag. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and another thing you have to be careful about and ask about is a revision. What's the revision policy? It's your right. Yeah. It's your right. If a doctor botched you to not pay for revision, you have to pay only for, for example, a hotel for your flight ticket. Every other medical expense has to be on the hospital or on the doctor this is something you have to discuss before you travel to turkey for surgery sometimes they, these kind of things are, are written in papers as well for example if you get a paper that there is already written like if you have a, a certain revision this is the price you have to pay so they are open with it yes that, that's a good thing yeah if they are open with it if you receive a document that says everything then that's good that's, that's that then it, it you are on, on on the correct path but if they refuse to send you any documents they refuse to talk about re revision they refuse to talk about aftercare then again that's a red flag over there you have to be careful now i want to explain something you have to understand then that the moment you decide to have surgery somewhere, there is risk. Even if you choose the best doctor, the best uh, uh, team, the best hospital, then still risk is always there. So you have to have this percentage in your mind that something might go left. It's every, with every surgery. Yeah, with, with every surgery. Not only plastic surgery, yeah. every surgery. Yeah, even in your, in your daily life, you might go out of your house and something happens to you. So the risk is always there, not just because uh, one surgery happened wrong, then that doctor is a bad doctor, or not just because this hospital had one wrong experience, then they are a bad hospital. And sometimes it's also like, like uh, bad luck, you know? Yeah. For example, yeah. like... Uh, I'm just saying a small example, like like some aesthetics or uh, how do you call them, the, the painkillers, uh, the, 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 the um. ibuprofen or whatsoever. Uh, they are sometimes, uh, for one person, reacts, the body reacts differently than another. And yeah. this is also with healing process yeah. or scar tissue yeah. or whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it, it's also about how your body reacts to, to certain kind of, of, of recoveries. 
Um, so that the, the the fact that there is only, for example, one bad experience somewhere doesn't mean that that doctor or that the hospital is bad place. Now, in this video, we try to give you some points that you have to uh, look for and be careful about. Can, can but, I add one more thing? I would like to add one more thing. Yeah. There are some misconceptions about uh, if you go, for example, with an agency, it doesn't matter if it's from your own country, let's say UK or Turkey, or if you directly book with the, the doctor. Some people think if you book directly with the doctor, you are cheaper than with an agency. Yeah. This is false. Yeah. Generally, uh, the doctor gives the same price to a certain person as, for example, that the agency will give. Well, actually, as agencies, Sometimes we get even cheaper prices and we can give cheaper prices than the doctor himself because the prices given to agencies are a lot cheaper Then they let you they, they, they give you the space to add your own fees mm -hmm. So sometimes you can even get cheaper price with an agency than with a doctor or with a hospital So yeah, that's a, that's a, that's an information as well, and I just would like to uh, uh, explain one last thing now uh, at the end of and at the end of the day, you have to do your homework before you go abroad for for surgery. And be honest. And yeah, and you be have honest if you have certain disease or whatever. Yeah, some people. Yeah, again, some people would say that they are healthy or would lie about surgeries they had in the past, and that thing that would affect their their the results of their surgeries. So, as Robin said, you have to be. Um, and I had experience with this one time. Had a woman after the surgery, like she told me, she was talking totally like fine and everything she was healthy she was healthy but she had some mental issues after the surgery uh, surgery was done she was dancing in her bed like uh, she could directly go to psych uh, psychologue or whatever <laughs> you call it psychiatry like yeah so so you have to be you have to be a hundred percent open and clear with 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 the assistant you are talking with and uh, we also offer a service because uh, since we were there we have a lot of connections we have our own ways and tools to uh, find doctors so if everyone who's watching this video has a, a name of a doctor in Turkey that they want to go have surgery with but they don't know how to search they don't know how to use the tools or they want to know from an inside point of view if that doctor is, is good or bad, you can contact us on our Instagram or Facebook page, which is gonna be written here, Medica Journey. Right now we are working on our website, so that's why it's not online, but this service is a service, service we offer on our Instagram or uh, Facebook page. And it's for a small fee. We can search any doctor, we can search any hospital. This service takes from two to three days for us to search the doctor and ask uh, our connections in Turkey about that doctor or that clinic, if he's good or not. And this service uh, costs 50 euro. So if you are interested in it, don't hesitate. You can just contact us, give us the name of the doctor or the hospital and we can do the whole homework for you because Again, plastic surgery or any surgery is something very important. When you decide to go have surgery abroad or even in your home country, it's your life which is on the line. You are going under the knife. You have to make sure 100% that you... Don't think too light about yeah. it. And don't only like do, do shopping or whatsoever. Yeah, it's not shopping. Oh, 50... 1,500 euro, well, the average price is 3,000. Yeah. Let's go for the 1,500 yeah. euro in the end, complain, oh, something went south. Yeah, definitely. And you have to understand that, uh, especially with rhinoplasty, the first time without surgery, when you go to a doctor, he can just touch and say, okay, I can do this or that. But once you have the first surgery done, then your nose becomes like a magic box. No one can tell what's inside till it's open. So no one can guarantee, no doctor can guarantee the result when we are talking about revision. So this is your health, this is your life, which is online. Uh, and with make sure that make you choose sure. good doctor. And with rhinoplasty, the tip always comes lower later. Yeah. In the beginning you have the, 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 the piggy nose. The piggy nose, yes. Later they discuss. It will roll out. Yeah. After a couple of weeks, don't be in panic. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't be I, I see that a lot. A lot of don't people are panic. panicking, they are like, oh I have piggy nose. It always, always comes down. Something, you know, that's also from from person A to person B. One person after a couple of weeks, it's already you can see ninety percent of the end result. Some person it takes like five, six, sometimes seven months. You know, 
uh, don't forget you need approximately nine to 12 months to fully heal. Yeah. Same with hair, hair transplant, for example, it's the same. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, the, so uh, if you have more questions or any questions, don't hesitate to contact us via uh, via Facebook or via Instagram or our business page because this this video is made on my own YouTube channel. So I don't think writing comments is uh, the best idea. I think if you have more uh, questions or any questions at all, or you have doctors that you want us to search for you, don't hesitate uh, to contact us on our business page. I'm gonna. Uh, write our business page over here and also write in it write it again in the description box yeah. so thank you so much for watching and i wish you a good sunday bye Enjoy. see ya